Okay, so to uh, retrofit your whiz, what you need to do, get a good position where it can sit nice and flat, upside down. Now these, one, two, three, four, they're the only screws you need to undo to take the base off, all right? Okay, so when you get the base off, don't just go ripping it off. I'll show you, these two wires here, so these two here, these go up to the switch. So they stay part of the actual housing, the unit. They go down in through there, right up to the handle switch, okay? So don't just go ripping it off. Even putting it like this is putting a bit of tension on it. So what you need to do is, you need to just pull this little clip out here, okay? All right, so there's the, uh, the switch wire, the little connector. All right, so I've just pulled that out. So that just came out of this little, get that black wire out, get that black wire out of the way here. All right, so there, that, that just comes out of that bit there. Pull it out, then you've got the green base with the motor, uh, the main the main mechanism there, and, and this is the old uh, tray battery tray for the AA batteries. All right, now a word of caution: when you pull it apart, leave this sitting upright. If you flip this over or move it, all of this comes floating out. And if you had a few rums when you're doing this, the way I was, it's a bitch to get back together. Alright, so the reason it'll fall apart is it's held together by all these mechanisms. This part here, the shafts, alright? So just leave that alone for now. Okay, so all I did... These two new wires, they're new, connector, to match the uh, to match the LiPo battery connector. So when you purchase your battery, just, just get it, make sure you get another connector on it and the wires. And then I just soldered them on under there, taped it up. Mostly you don't want it bridging. Uh, LiPos go kaboom if, uh, if they get overheated or bridged. Things go bad in a big hurry with these batteries, so just be careful of that. All right, so as you can see down here, all I did was just drill two holes. So I just did those drills the same, same, relatively the same size as the, the wire itself. I haven't put any silicon or anything. You, you can if you like, I suppose, but I'm not planning on using this out in the weather. All right, so black one, negative, goes to the negative side of the uh, motor, which you can clearly see the original wire is black. Going to that, to so solder that onto the top. Now, don't solder your power wire, red wire, don't solder that onto the power side of the motor because when you connect your battery up, it'll run continuously without the switch. So down to the switch. This yellow one here is the power for the switch. So just solder that and uh, excuse the solder there, it is pretty shit house, I know, but as I said earlier, I'd, uh, I'd had a couple of rums when I was doing this, so... Uh, and uh, you can see there I actually melted melted that a bit from the soldering iron. So kids, don't try that at home if you've been drinking. All right. So just solder the power cable down onto the... Uh, you'll see a little lug on this yellow one. Uh, just solder that onto there. All right. And, uh, and then that's, that's pretty much it. And then what we've got to do, we've just got to put it back together. All right. So we're back together now. Just... Um, when you do go to put this green base back on, obviously we, we, we've got it sitting upright like that. Just sort of get down low and you'll see the two shafts. you just got to sort of jiggle, get them lined up right. Do your four screws up, do them up diagonally on it, even pressure of course so you don't snap anything. Then all I did was uh, cable tied my two power wires onto this little hook area. Worked my position out from a battery and I'm just using uh, Velcro double-sided or uh, velcro with adhesive on it so that uh, that just sits on like that plug it up plug in your little arm and uh, Bob's your uncle good times hope that helps you